What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today I take this uh, Red Cat Everest 10 rock crawler, put a brushless system in there. If you did see my videos before, I did put a brushless system in it before, but I've done some changes to it, lowered it down, put some different shocks on it, different brushless system in there. So let's get started. All right, so let me show you that as far as the rear here, where I did modify this just a little bit on the back end here, just using some Lexan scissors. And let me show you as far as stock on the box, you can see it how that was before. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this body top off of here. Here are the parts that I did use, the Robson Racing Harden, you know, anyway, that's a 17 tooth pinion gear, five millimeter bore, 32 pitch when it comes to the, yeah, the 32 pitch. This is 32 pitch, the 6842. Uh, that's gonna be the spur gear that, that I used. Also, uh, I'll get into that in a second, but this is an example of the spur gear that I've used, this is a 62, but I'm gonna show you that in here in a second on that one. That's the factory gear that came out. All right, let me show you, as far as when it comes to these shocks that are here, these are just ones I picked up from Craigslist. They came with a, a Traxxas slash that the guy had put on there. I took them off, put some other uh, shocks on it, but these were ones that I had sitting around. And these actually would work, they were, I felt like these would work pretty well because it brought the truck down lower. And that's what I was aiming for, is to get this thing lower center of gravity just for the fact of what I want to do to it. And uh, yeah, I got a little hobby wing system that's in there. That's got, you can see it there, the Max 10 Short Course RTR, 80 amp, two to three S LiPo. So I got a three S LiPo in there, because you know I like to run on the three S LiPo. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this here, mounting this all up, uh, I just used the old hot glue gun over here. So I just used that mounted this stuff up. I did have to use a Dremel and I just smoothed, smoothed this little plastic piece out. Why? Because it had like a little lip around the whole entire platform that's here. You can kind of see it anyhow. As you can see that little lip that's in there. So yeah, so that was on the back here as well. So I just ground that down and I where this switch is, I did the same thing, kind of ground that down. But uh, yeah, I just used a little, again, a little, uh, glue gun to get that thing in there. So uh, yeah, just zip tied the stuff on there. Now let's go ahead and get into the gears because that's the main thing I'm sure you guys want to know about. So, all right, so you can see in here, get this thing zoom focused. But you can see that gear that's in there. You can see the marks on the spur gear itself. That's where I use the Dremel to ground these little tabs down. There's our spur gear. Now also, as far as what motor are you using? Well, there's the motor. That's a 4400 kV motor. This is out of a red cat vehicle, so you can see the cat half its face there. Uh, so yeah, it came out of a, a 110 scale a truck from red cat. Let's see, anything else that I just need to point out to you guys on that one? Not really, that's gonna be it. So what? how did I do this setup here? Why I use these gears? Well, looking at this thing, this is the stock gear. Now you can notice here too, there are six holes that are on there and got three holes that are here. All right. Now this one here, it has like a, if you're not, maybe you can kind of see it a little bit. Let's see if I can kind of get in there. Yeah, you can kind of see these little tabs in the back where the screws, anyway, there's a little adapter plate. If you have one of these, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about, but it does have a little plate that's on there that this thing gets mounted to. Um, so anyway, what I did was, I just, there's tabs that are on that little adapter plate. So I ground those down. So eliminating it. So now only having just three holes to put the screws into. Now, uh, does it line up exactly perfect? It lines up pretty darn well. Um, this kind of shows you too. Maybe I can try to get that in there as a straight view of it. You can see the way it's in there too. So you can see like a little gap all the way around that nut that's in the center. So that's pretty straight on there. I mean, you can see the way it, even going in this way too. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so you saw this thing running. I was able to give it full throttle. I was pretty impressed with it, actually. I wasn't expecting to be able to give full throttle just because of the, the higher KV motor that was in there and the setup, but I was able to do it. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you have to be really careful when you turn because it wants to roll over. But uh, also you saw in the video too, at the end, I was going back and forth and of course I lost track of paying attention to a car coming the other way. I, that's why I typically go to a parking lot that's empty because of the fact that I have to constantly keep an eye. I'm trying to, with this car, I don't want to turn the vehicle too much and then of course it rolls over. And of course when I saw that car there, I was like, oh, I'm trying to stop. And of course I stopped and it did a front flip, but it's a red cat, it landed on all four. So that's good, pretty cool, right? Anyway. Uh, yeah, definitely check out our website, OMGRC. I'll put a link in the description for this vehicle anyway. It's a good uh, vehicle, it's a good seller anyhow. So nice entry level when it comes to rock crawler, what have you. But uh, yeah, I like it the way it is now, just because where I'm at, I don't have a lot of rocks to crawl on. So uh, this is my take on, this is the uh, city life rock crawler. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think about it. and. Uh, when you're on our website, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. All right, you guys take care and thank you for watching.